It's just astounding to see all these people out here. This is just what we should do for someone who gave his life for our country. And that is exactly what thousands of people did today, lining the streets to pay their respects as a fallen sailor made his way home. Corman Maxton Soviak was one of the service members killed in the attack at the airport in Afghanistan last month. And today he was brought back to Ohio with a patriotic processional, taking him from the airport to his hometown of Berlin Heights. News 5 anchor Delon Dillard has been in the community as it honored Soviak today. Delon. And you know, we're talking about a community, Berlin Heights, that is about 600 people, just over 600 people in Berlin Heights. But I can tell you there were far more than 600 people lining these streets this morning. And our photojournalist, Dave Columbine, he spoke with some of them. Take a listen to what they had to say here. Came just out of respect for what our servicemen do for us. It's heartbreaking. Show my support. I'm here to support the community and support the family of the Soviet Max. We're just here to pay our respects to um, Max and his family. I'm here, my son wrestles with the Soviet family, so we know them personally. I think it's a surreal event. It hit home. See a fallen soldier, pay my respects. So proud. Thank you all very much. Just a uh, show of respect for the Navy Corpsman. A celebration of life for one of our heroes. This is just what we should do for someone who gave his life for our country. We have a son-in-law who's in the military, and every time he deploys, I get nervous. I've got a grandson that's in the Marines, and uh, could have been him. I have family members that are in the U.S. Armed Forces, uh, specifically the Navy, and it could have been any one of them. Sad. Real sad. Respect for this boy. And my son's the same age in the Navy. It could have been him and his family I feel so bad for. Hard to put it to words. We support our own in this community. And this is just to show my respect. It hurts your heart. It's scary. It's painful. Yeah, yeah. very painful yeah. to lose 13 like, like how it happened. It's very painful. It just tears at everybody's heart. You know, it's just it's a horrible situation that we're in right now. Sad day. And they gave the ultimate sacrifice. I just hate that someone so young got killed in Afghanistan. God bless America. And thank him for his service. He's in heaven. We owe it to him and his family and to all who have served and sacrificed and lost their lives. We owe this to them, and I think this is probably the best thing we could do to show the support of our troops and everything they've had to endure and go through over the last 20 years. So obviously you see there, it's very personal for so many people who were out here paying tribute. And calling hours for individuals who want to pay tribute as well will be held this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the Edison High School Fieldhouse. His funeral services, those will take place on Monday morning at 11 at the Edison High School Stadium. We have all of this, all of this information for you on your News 5 app and News5Cleveland.com.